They are looking for the Miller. Oh, get excited, people. Uh, let's see. So 15 pounds. Yeah, you should always get Mule. Always get Mule. Uh, the other one is to get Clinch Master, which is good. Anyway. Uh, we're actually tired as well. Oh, we're starving. I need some food. Shit. <laughs> and there's my rubber chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to wait because... Uh, don't you star. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat actually. Um, we need to save... Let's see what else. We need to get the herb for this guy and uh, the guard uh, can't sleep. Uh, you should do this one last by the way. This one needs to be done last because otherwise he'll keep asking for uh, for sleep potions. It's annoying. Okay, he's up. Okay, and the guy with a broken leg. Excellent. Okay, Johanka, we're gonna... So we have to get them, get them some meat. So I'll, I'll do that and then we'll, sp we'll sleep... I uh, will speak to the custodian and then this custodian will tell us to F off, of course. Um, unfortunately, we'll probably have to pay him for the supplies. The guy is corrupt like hell. The only person who does anything for free is Johanka. No, no, no. Not for ugly old Henry. Everybody thinks that we stink. <laughs> oh, seriously, this game, this game insults you like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, you might be wearing the best, the best gear. You keep it nice and clean. You go to the bath and people, people still complain that you stink. Anyway, let's go over here. Um, is that Sage? It is Sage. Okay. It is Sage. Hey, herbalism perk. I have a poik. Okay, now I'm gonna wait until I get level 10 because that's when these two open up and you should definitely get these two. I could get this one, but it's not that important. I don't have a horse anyway, so. Oh, look at that. We're hungry. We're actually starving to death now. <laughs> I am starving to death. So yes, we got put into prison unjustly. You know what they say, right? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Oh yes, and we, if we speak to her, she'll actually take his side. Greetings, Henry. She will take his side. I'm not happy. That custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, mm -hmm. but in his own way, mm -hmm. I don't know. You can't be serious. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Mind your own business. Yes. So many people took a really, a really serious dislike to Johanka. <laughs> oh, hello. What? What happened? We brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Your friends have left. I have to find them. Now, rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well, all right. And Henry? Hmm? Thank you. Oh, we're dying of starvation. Uh, what about you? Mm. Oh. He recovered in one day from a broken leg. He's, his broken leg healed in one day, or he's, he's conscious enough to talk, which is not right. <laughs> I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. See you later. Okay, that will pay off much, much further down the line. He will actually be able to help us at some point. Not yet though, not yet. Um, oh, hello. Free bandages? I feel bad. Ah, uh, no, that's actually taking bandages from, uh, from you know, sick people. So I won't do that. Uh, have I... I need... Do I have a comfrey? I need a comfrey and then I'll give it to him. This guy is still... Okay, that's comfrey. I will take everything. All right, uh, so I'm gonna need to give this guy, not you, but you. He needs uh, some comfrey. It's you. Hopefully, I have what you need. 
It's comfy. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. God be with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I remember this. So if we help him and give him the right herb, then it'll give us a bit of a... It'll show us a few tricks to improve our strength. So that would put it up a bit. And strength equals to carrying capacity. Oh, shit. My shoes. My shoes. Okay, too late. Low. Maintenance. Let's go up. Okay, we have to go back to town anyway. Um, so it is possible to tell you, Hunker, you can't do anymore, but there is a lot more we can do. There is a lot more we can do. Um, how much money do I have? Do I have enough money? Money in a couple of hundred. Um, let's go speak to the custodian, actually. How? I am very close to starving to death. And I have to go get my shoes repaired as well because I, I waited too long. Ah, uh, it's a shame. Uh, luckily, those shoes don't cost that much, so the repair cost shouldn't take. Shouldn't take too much. Wait, did just that just? Okay, so we can give them food. Um, the guy who can't sleep, and he keeps. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should help this guy. He keeps complaining about my streaming. Supplies from the custodian, but yeah, there's a lot more to do. Supplies. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah. And how is your hunker? Do you know her well? Yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Uh, let's butter him up. Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Your hunker means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalettes. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarius take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Mm, we can butter him up. He's very likely to accept the first one, I think. So, yeah. Maybe because of your hanker. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? Well, something could happen to her, too. Someday. Oh, no, no, no. If any ill befalls my dear your hunker she won't be left lying on some grubby floor i'll personally see to it she's taken care of uh, we can say you're unbelievable but that's because i'll pay you for supplies but of course that will be oh come off it you get your supplies from the monastery for free no one will bat an eyelid if you ask for more blankets can get chewed up by <laughs> mice food can go off Ah, it's uh, very expensive, so I can't get it. Uh, this is not going to work. You're too clever for your own good, boy. Go try it on someone else. Oh, you're unbelievable. I don't know what you mean, but you should go now. You're beginning to bore me. Good luck to you. He put us in prison. Okay, fine. Uh, what about you? My respects to you. Oh, you can start. Oh, you can start this quest this early. Oh, okay. Whose house is this? It's our local custodians, her most esteemed Sir Sebastian, Baron von Berg. You don't seem to think very much of him. Well, of course I do. The man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel can't be all bad. <laughs> I love that line. What does the custodian do anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? But? But in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. Yes, precisely. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. Um, This one's going to be really difficult to get. Uh, yeah, let's, let's pick it up. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasau? It's such a holy place filled with knowledge. Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me, like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Well, they say there's not much left of poor Procopius. What's that got to do with anything? 
I'm not blaming you. It's just that only monks have access to the reliquary in the crypt. Folk were even taking relics away from Semprocopia's cave for protection before. Now no one's allowed in there. I know. But I'd never dream of doing that. I just wanted to touch them for luck. Now the question is, how the hell does Henry know all, of, of, all about that? How the hell does he know that? Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? You know what? Bugger off now. No, not at all. <laughs> I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Well now. Hmm. You'd do that for me? Of course. Then I'd be very grateful to you. Farewell. There's a lot of ways to resolve this one. Number one is to actually steal the, the proper goods. Another one is to actually get fake goods from the charlatan. Maybe like uh, bones or stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to bother with that yet. It's a little bit too difficult. So the easiest way is to actually go around here. Because the crypt is around this side. But it does require you to have an... Oh shit, stuck. It does kind of require you to... Yeah, pick a very hard lock. Which I definitely can't do right now. Not with what, lock picking one or something. The other one, the other way to physically get in there is to go around. There's a couple of guards though. There's a couple of guards. What? Hello, can I talk to you? Mind out. Something will fall on you if you don't move. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. You've got no business here. You're just in the way. Oh, I haven't seen that oh, lot. Does that make my stomach hurts? So yeah, there's guards here. The guards will not let you through. That's a problem. Is yep, probably. There? You can't actually. What are you doing here? Are you after something? You could talk to him though. God be with you. Are you guarding Procopius Cave? That's right. Otherwise, people would steal absolutely everything. Oh, we can get rid of him. Yeah, we can get rid of him. I won't do that. You're doing good work. I'm glad someone understands. Okay, Farewell. fine. So there's... You can wait until night or something, I think. But I'm not going to do that yet. Hey, Having said that, it used to be the case that... Um, what's his name? Urban, he would actually prefer us to get into proper stuff. But what? Not anymore. Okay, let me go get some food, get my shoes repaired, because they're gonna like uh, fall off my feet soon. And what are the quests that are available? Let's get, let's see. There's one from Nicodemus. There is boar meat. Uh, let's see, Ledechko. Yeah, we should go to Ledechko. Because I need to learn to hunt. Okay, we need to take the ring over here. Uh, nothing else here, right? There is a couple of quests over here. We have to go to Ujits to learn, but... Let's take care of our shoes and uh, learn the bow as well. Yeah, we'll get our bow skills up and then we'll hunt some boar. And then we'll come back here. Because we need to provide meat, uh, but also we need to provide some meat for the butcher. So yeah, killing a couple of boars will actually serve both purposes. And boar meat is actually good, even though it rots a little bit too quickly for my liking. So yeah, if you hunt uh, if you hunt animals and butcher them before you have the right perk, before you become the the game's keeper. There's my chicken. <laughs> anyway, if you do if you hunt wild game before you have the right perk, then um, it counts as stolen. But if you cook it, that takes away the stolen mark. So you can then sell it to anybody. It's a good source of money if you wanna if you wanna cheese the game that way. Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. Oh my God! <laughs> everybody in Sultan looks. Everybody. So yes, best food is uh, cabbages. Sixteen nourishment raw. That is amazing. 
Yeah, I think we're going to need all five. So basically, that's going to cost us like five gold. Let's not pin a pitch too much. That's a sum I can live. Okay. Oh, he's, this guy has a lot of conversations that happens with uh, with customers. It takes a long time to actually catch all of them. I th I'm not sure if I've actually ever, ever heard that one. But yes, 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 it's very interesting. We can also speak to him, so yeah. One is to actually get the proper goods. The other one is to speak to the charlatan. I see... I see you carry a message. I'm looking for a piece of the remains of St. Procopius. Are you now? And who would that be for? For a friend. He'd like to have something holy to treasure. Quite a reasonable fellow. I have a piece of his finger bone. And it's from St. Procopius. Well, he was definitely a good fellow, <laughs> at least not a bad one, and I believe his name even was Procopius. So technically speaking, technically speaking, yeah. All right, what do you want for it? A precious piece, that one. Um. Yeah, that's you can buy it. It doesn't cost that much. It doesn't cost that much, but uh, let's skip that one. And I think you can also speak to uh, the guy who deals with dead bodies. I think you can. Where is he? Who is it? Who is it? It's a wild Henry. You, where, where? Oh, here we are. He is. My help. Hey. Hey, don't hate me. Okay, you can't. Okay, so you can't talk to him. Right. So the easy way is just to buy it. It's just to buy it off the the charlatan. And ironically, um. It used to be the case that the real relics would actually uh, something to eat. Yes, yes, yes. I need, I need some food. Sorry, Look, I need some food. But yes, uh, it used to be the case that they would prefer. Hmm. He won't mind if we cook here. <laughs> but yeah, it used to be the case that. Um, Urban would prefer the real relic, but now he actually prefers the fake relics, weirdly enough. So yeah, buying just buying those finger bones is actually faster. Not very expensive either. So it's like um you can get probably get it for like 16 or something. 16 gold. So if you're gonna eat it, you should cook it and then eat it. But yeah, once you boil them, they actually go off pretty quickly in two days. Whereas if you keep them raw, they go the same for four days. Ah oh, shit, sorry. Um Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna have to sleep at some point. And I need to repair my shoes. Um, what's the time? Okay, so I think we wanna go to Let's Go, because I need to try my bow. Uh, my bow is awfully low. Yeah, I need at least a couple of points. And also, it's also a good, a good way to make money by gambling on that. Definitely worth it. Cobla, cobla. My respects to you. Oh, thank you. Finally, somebody doesn't insult me. Yep, 2.5 2 for to, to repair this entire thing. I'll still haggle though, because I'm cheap. Hey, come back. Let's have a word about the price. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, nah, disagree. I'll go for that. Okay, so that's good. I need to keep an eye on my my clothing. Yeah, just make sure that it doesn't uh, lose condition. Because if it goes below, I think, um, a certain value, like 65 or something, I can't uh, repair it myself. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do the shooting offline. I think I might do that, that offline. But we need to... Yeah, we definitely have to go to Ledech Go, and then going to go to here. Oh, we haven't told this guy yet. And I should probably get a horse as well at some stage. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's go up to... Let's, let's go up to Ujits. We'll learn to read. We'll get educated. And then we'll come back down. With a horse, of course. Because I got money now. Alright, yeah, so it's taking me a little bit of time to actually move around, so... Normally, if I was playing by myself, I would actually run around until I had, like, um, vitality, like, closer to 10. Because vitality is kind of important. But yeah, let's let's go up north. We have time. Um, I should be able to... Yeah, I'll make it up. I'll make it up. And there is a special line that you can get if you actually uh, have a horse when you speak to Hans. 
Ah, oh, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Um, I'll try to avoid Hamburg because there's a, there's a special quest that begins there the first time you go through. And it's not something I would do right now. It's a bit, uh, a bit of a problem. Nobody is training on drinking. That is natural to all human beings. Apparently animals also deliberately get drunk. <laughs> you gotta wonder how they help people discover how drinking, right? You gotta, you gotta wonder. Because yeah, there must have been some kind of rotten fruit or whatever that's your... Know, some, some kind of fruit that's been fermenting in the sun or something. All the sugars fermented into alcohol. People ate them and, well, they got dizzy. So I guess fruits would have been the first form of alcohol. And supposedly, um, grapes and whatnot. They originated from the southern Mediterranean. And people actually took them to places like France and whatever. It's kind of interesting to, to see how humans have influenced the spread of animals and plants. So stuff like, say, cereals, uh, like wheat and whatnot. They're from the Middle East, right? They weren't native to Europe. And yet, wheat became the staple food. Oh, hello. Um, there's somebody hiding here, by the way. If you look around, if you find the body like that, and you look around, there's somebody hiding. Now, you can loot the body, but there is somebody hiding. I don't think they just spawn out of thin air. Oh shit, don't fall. <laughs> Dying once is enough. Um, although they might spawn out of thin air in this case. Usually, usually the game doesn't spawn people out of thin air. Let's try this. Let's move it out of the way. I guess if you loot her, the guy will spawn. Anyway, I'll do I'll do it just for just to show what happens. Oh, here we are. What are you doing, you murderer? He's accusing me. What on earth are you talking about? I saw you robbing the corpse. Ah, I was looking for I was looking at the wounds. I was looking for signs of life to see if I could help. Ah, and could you? Unfortunately, not anymore. All right. Yes, yeah, so we have some medical skills, the so therefore we kind of fast sense. talk our way out of this one. Uh, what were you doing here? And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? Yes, you're carrying the murder weapon. <laughs> you're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's a murder weapon, but I'll prove I know how to use it. It'll be easier for you if you confess. All right then. I did it. I didn't want to kill her. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. Then she pulled a knife on me. I took it off her. And this is how it ended. You don't have to tell anyone, you know. And and you won't regret it. Um. The problem is we can't fight this guy. We can't beat him. Can't beat him. Uh, fine. Let him go. I can't. I can't beat him. He will just kill us. So, oh well. Unfortunately. Although having said that, uh, can I? Can I? Tackle him. <laughs> oh, he knows we're here. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh. Okay, good. Now this is a no-kill run. So that means that uh, we can't kill him. But I will take everything he's got. Oh well. This is retribution, you bastard. This is retribution. Unfortunately, I can't take him to jail. But we've uh, we've kind of achieved justice in our, in our own little way. Okay, I might just dump the clothes that we took off him. Let him walk naked in his shame. Liar. Evil dude. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of his dirty rubbish. Ooh, I want, I'll take that one. At least he won't kill anybody. Well, I hope not. Okay, fine. And uh, there's no way to take him to the bailiff or anything like that, unfortunately. There's only two choices. One is to let him go or to kill him. 
and I can't kill him, but I can knock him out. Watch out, there's a murderer down there. And I would like to take your hat. <laughs> I would like to take your hat, buddy, but uh, nah. Okay, so if we go this way, yeah, that will cross the forest. Okay, so let me, let me, let me go close to Tamburg, but not close enough. Oh, you know what, we'll just go up to the forest. I hope I won't get lost. This will be more direct towards, uh, towards, uh, towards Ujit. And hopefully, I don't think I'll run into bandits, right? But if I do, it could get ugly. Shit, dogs. Dogs need to be very careful. Oh, there's a, okay. There's a camp right there. Need to avoid. That's a Kumon camp. And if I run into those dogs, they will kill me. Luckily, the dogs are barking. So yeah, that, that camp is quite dangerous. Alright, um, I don't think there's any camps towards this area. Uh, you can run into random bandits, but usually, usually what you see is um, a, some kind of a NPC versus NPC battle. I was gonna say bandit versus bandit, but it's not always bandit versus bandit. It's basically NPCs versus NPCs. Okay, he's. Oh, I know what this path is. <laughs> Wait, why is that guy standing there? Oh no. Yes! Oh, an enemy! Yes, yes, yes. If some guy's standing on the road, be careful. <laughs> Avoid. They're usually on the roads. But that was a peasant ambush. A row hunting spot. Good, good, good. Now, where are we? You can actually use those little discoveries to orient yourself in hardcore mode. Here, okay. So we want to take this path all the way up north. So let's go this way. Hit the road so we don't get lost. So yes, hit the road, Jack, and don't get lost. Um, here's the road, I think. Yeah, that's the road. So yeah, it's really easy to get lost in this game. Especially when you can't see the sun. Yes, um, if you can't see the sun, by the way, you can use the shadows. So this way, you can see the sun is that way. Even if you can't see the sun, you can use the shadows. Alright, this is Ujit. It's a very picturesque location, by the way. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> low energy. Right, low energy. I thought the game had crashed. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, Jesus. I could really do with some sleep. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm not sure if learning to read will actually give us our energy back and it definitely pays off in many ways to actually learn to read before the main quest sends you to Ujit. There's lots of little clues. Oh no. I think we're okay. <laughs> I keep thinking that it's gonna collapse because you can't actually collapse on tiredness. Actually, yeah let's let's go read first. Let's get educated and then we'll come back. Uh, speaking of which, my cabbage is not going to survive. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to eat them. Alright, fine. We are here. That's a bailiff. Can't talk to him yet. Scribe, here we are, finally. Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces if indeed time is of the essence. Yeah, so it does cost a fair bit of Here money. Your then we may as well start. No. So he did break his vow. Yeah, it definitely pays off to actually learn to read before the main quest sends you here. 
There's lots of little things. In our case, Henry's learning to read because he needs to learn how to master alchemy, right? Or at least he's learned the value of alchemy. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. Yay! There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Oh, problem. We didn't actually... Uh, we didn't get our energy back, so... We're gonna have to basically sleep for a night or something. Oh well. We're gonna have to rent a room anyway. Okay, so let's sit down. Now, I know, what the, I know what the solutions are. This one's fairly easy. The other one is not so easy. So yes, greed does not pay. That is a well-known fable, by the way. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? <laughs> there was something about some fell on the goose. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage. <laughs> I always fail this one. When I first started playing this, I always failed this one because I don't have any idea about Latin. But there is a way to get through it. Um, you have to look at the letters. So in this case, you have to look at the letters and see which ones are present. He'll give you he'll give you multiple choices. So you have to remember the first line basically. Nullus es libre. But yes, nullus. Nullus is the most important thing you need to remember. No, don't go away. No. <laughs> I read the page. So tell me. Distrupule, what's written there? Okay, so notus is not dolus. No, the the only one the only one that matches the letters that you see in the first word is nullus. But uh, yeah, notus is not uh, is not Latin, as far as I know. Dolus is English. <laughs> uh, non dolus liver tan malus and non a liquor party profit. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, a killer part drop it. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots of fake Latin in this game. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus uh, ut non uh, liquere parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Yay! And because we picked the right options, our reading skills just got a bonus. Yes, yes, yes. So now we can actually read. Now uh, there's a couple of books here that we can read. Uh, not here. Just over. Oh, he's actually uh, gone away. My word. <sighs> oh, good God. This does not count as stealing, thankfully. <sighs> I need to lie down before I split my face open from yawning. Yes, we can now read. So it's based on your reading skill. So as your reading skill goes up, the words will become less jumbled. You can actually read the books. And they do have some interesting things to say. The way they've done the books kind of borrows a line from, um, from the Elder Scrolls. So our skill went up, basically. That's right, reading for you now. And halfway through. Uh, colleague... Oh, this is... That is useful. Uh, that's not so much. This is useful. Um, no, that's not. This one is. Because it helps you read books faster. But colleague, I think, is kind of important. 
Just because, you know, it saves you money and all that. Alright, let's go get some sleep. Okay, and also, there's a couple of things going on. going on in these parts. Indeed, there is. Around here, <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> and there's more. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Is there anything? Nothing. Else. Okay, so that just gave us two quests. Well, at least the opportunity to pick up two quests. One is from Godwin, and it involves the witchcraft, and the other one is from the the the, the horse people, the stables. But I need to get them. Need to get some sleep. Okay, and also, um, all of these ancient maps and all the, whatever books we might have. We can actually read them right now. That counts as, re as reading. All of this counts as reading. I don't usually bother with these things. In terms of like looting and stuff like that. Because it feels kind of cheesy. Any work going here? Enough for a dozen men. You could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What happened? Did he do something wrong? Just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach. <laughs> Who no, ate all no, the pies? I was our stallion. A lovely dappled. Oh. Well, that's bad news. How did Vashek manage to lose him? He fell, banged his head, and the horse bolted. Can you fathom it? A stable hand falling off a horse. And then Pi took off at a gallop. Well, I can't take Vashek's job, but I can try to find your pie. That would be nice of you. If there's anything you need to know, ask that fool. I was too livid to even speak to him. Right. Okay, I'd but like I will buy, a, I will a, buy horse. a horse. Now, this one is good. That one you can have cheap. He ain't too strong or fast for that matter. But he's as loyal as they come, though. Yeah, every horse is a reference to something. I don't know what, what this particular horse is a reference to. Mm. Done. Oh, good. God be with you. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's speak to the groom. So we do have a horse. Uh, oh, Jesus. I could really do with some sleep. Where's... Oh, here we are. That's Vashek. Good day to you. How's the head? <laughs> so even strangers know Vashek. Come on, then. Come and take a closer look at Vashek the Blockhead. I'm not, I'm not here to mock. So what is it you want? I promised the head groom that I'd look for a pie. Well, good luck with that. I've been searching half the day. Although I have been seeing double ever since that bang on the head. So it's possible I missed something. Can you describe pie for me? Um, long face. Four legs. Ah, yes. You did hit your head hard, didn't you? Don't be dumb. Yes. Why? I asked you to describe pie, <laughs> not every horse in the world. Sorry, oh, that's... He's... There's so many that nice lines in this game. Stallion, and he's really fast, though that won't help you much. Quite the opposite. That's fine. Where did you fall off, pie? Just south of it, between the fields and the woods, there's a crossroads where four paths meet. It was around there. Four paths? So we could have gone anywhere. Now you see my problem. When was that? In the morning. Then I staggered about for a while, feeling as rough as a boar's ass. I was glad to stagger back here in the end. Fine. I'll go and look for him. Thanks. If you find him, the groom might go easier on me. Oh, and one more thing. Well? Pies used to take in the bridal way, so I'd keep to those. That's useful. Thanks. No. Okay, now the reward for doing that is a bit, is some training, but this is our horse. This guy is actually better than yeah. Pebbles. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she though. Oh, nice jump. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm gonna find Pi. I think I should be able to beat the guy in a fist fight. Or at least talk him out of uh, out of uh, bothering us. 
We should be able to get this done by sundown. But yes, getting a horse kind of really does make a difference. You, you're supposed to find piles of crap. Let's just find the main road and follow it south. We, I know exactly where we need to go. It turns south. Yes, never mind. Never mind that I didn't get any training on horsemanship. And we're riding bareback. back. We should be okay. You know, we'll just hand wave that away, right? Okay, this is the camp. You can find this guy over here. Usually meant to follow the, fo the piles of crap, but... Well, at least the piles of crap should have led us over here, but I don't see them. Have you seen a horse running loose? A dappled grey? I have, I have indeed. Or at least I did see a riderless horse gallop through here. It went too fast for me to be sure of the colour. Where did you see him? A short distance down the road, there's a brook. I was there fetching water when that horse gave me the fright of my life. And where did he run onto? Well, he splashed about and then ran upstream into the woods. Much obliged. My pleasure. Good luck in your search. May the Lord watch over you. Right. Okay, so if you follow the creek... Uh, you should see a camp, but don't run into a tree. There should be a camp over here. This guy's a charcoal burners. Okay, now how tired am I? Oh, okay, so we have to take care of this ASAP. Or otherwise, we could be in trouble. Have you seen a horse around here? A dappled grey? Certainly have. He ran past here heading upstream. Thistle went after him and hasn't come back yet. Thistle? A local charcoal burner. None too smart. That's a clue. Thistle. Right. So we know that thistle is a bit thick, right? Thick as a thistle, maybe? Beautiful horse right there. Yeah, he's pretty good. Gonna smack thistle. Um no, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak him out of it, out of doing whatever he's trying to do. There's two options, right? So one of one of them is to smack him, but my energy is so low that I'm not sure if I can risk it. The other one is to actually make use of the clue that we just heard. Although I think you can just get him the horse and run as well. Here we go. So this is very easy to miss here, by the way. Uh, will he chase though? I don't know. I've never actually tried it. You better clear off. That horse is mine. Could be an option. <laughs> uh, I think he'll just give up, but we can talk him away. He's a thick bastard. I'm afraid this horse is a runaway from the Ujit stables. You can't have it. Fuck off! Oh, language. Go find your own horse. So in this case, because we know he's thick, we know that this is more likely to succeed. You're a thistle, aren't you? Hi. Do I know you? No. But as I was looking for that horse, I came across the charcoal camp, and they spoke of you. And what did they say? Oh, they were laughing at you. They seemed to think you were some kind of moron for leaving your stuff unguarded. They were laughing at me? The bastards. Thanks, friend. Anytime. He is just gonna go. He doesn't care. <sighs> now it's a shame that I can't take um the saddle. Yeah. And by the way, this is a crap horse. Compared to the one we just bought for, for like 500 gold. They said this, this horse was fast. This horse yeah. is rubbish. Now I definitely need to save my progress, right? Otherwise, if we get a game crash or something, it's gonna be ugly. I found pie for you. Dear God, what a relief. Between ourselves, he was none too cheap. I don't know what I'd have done if he was gone for good. Here's something for your trouble. Thank you. Just try not to lose him again. <laughs> we'll do our best. Oh, look at that. Comparison, yes. A lot of these quests actually make a lot more sense if you, if you come here as a penniless peasant. So you're looking for work, right? You're trying desperately to find some, some money to feed yourself with. So it makes me, oh, don't fall into the shit. <laughs> okay, now where's Bashik? Hmm. Where is Bashik, that idiot? Has he gone gambling again? So yeah, my horse is faster than that horse was. Even though it's the cheapest horse you can find in, in the province? Yeah. Yes, it is true. Oh, shit. <laughs> it always puts me off. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. We have a... Okay, Bashik is actually here. But if you speak to Bashik, there's a further bit of reward. I found that horse you lost. Enjoy. Really? 
Yes, oh, he said really. his face isn't loaded. Thank for all the saints. I was just about to start packing my things. I'll let you wed my daughter if I had one. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just take more care next time. I will. Farewell. Um, we should have got a reward. Yeah, I think it. I think we did. I think this went up a bit. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Okay, no, that's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna count that as from from a role playing perspective. I'm gonna count that as training for horsemanship. So we've got formal training for alchemy, drinky don't need training, herbalism. So we need houndmaster. So her horsemanship is done. Herbalism we got. Houndmaster we um we need to get, but we'll get that one once we get the dog. Hunting is done. Lock picking we got from Peshek. Same with pickpocketing. Maintenance we don't need. We're a blacksmith's son. Reading and uh, yeah, reading's done. Stealthy is not necessary. So we just need one more skill, and everything else we can kind of like uh, train. Okay, so, so now this is a problem. This is a real problem because I need to do I need to do Godwin's quest, but that involves combat. I'm not sure if I can deal with that. I might have to come back later. Hopefully, that won't have failed. Yeah, I'm just gonna take all my clothes. Off. Um, I don't have any. I need to sleep for like uh, 12 hours or something. Because my energy is like crap. Okay, now we have the horse. I should be able to move a little bit faster. And we saved as well. Oh my god. Okay, so the prisoner debuff is gonna disappear in a bit. We're hungry. Um, I need to cook some cabbages. Hey, what, what are you doing here? This is my room. What the? Never mind. Never mind. I didn't know that was possible, but okay. Not <laughs> so. There's meant to be a scroll that. Okay, so I guess it spawns later on once the quest happens. But there is a scroll you pick up over here. It's one of the one of the mill's quests. Oh, this place has nowhere to. Cook. Yeah, you can't cook. Uh, this. Yeah, you can't cook. Uh, what you call it? Um, cabbages over here. There's no room over here, right? Nope. Oh well. Oh yeah. So I, I keep forgetting. But this is this is the one place where you can't actually cook cabbages or vegetables. Oh well, that's fine. Three cabbages. Yeah, there's lots of farting involved. I say. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what do I need to do? Um, we need to do in God's hands. But let's let's do the good thief and finish that off. Okay, there's two ways. There's one way to get there. Where in Ujits, we could cut across here, go through there, and then come down here, or we could go down to Lelechko. Yes, yeah, so I'll go down here. Um, if I can find the road. Yeah. But now we have a horse. So, so, so. We have a horse, of course, of course. Uh, that supposedly was a line from an old sitcom from like the 50s in the US called Mr. Ed. With a talking horse. Now, I'm glad that the game doesn't doesn't have a problem with you using... Um... Oh, wait, I'm naked. <laughs> Oops. Oops, sorry. I was naked. I forgot that I didn't take. I, I took off my clothes. <laughs> also, the horse has no saddle and no bridle. That's fine. Yeah. Huh. This will be the crossroads. So where did Pi go? Oh, so this, what was this? Okay, what's here? Okay, never mind. That's a message from um the the Pi quest, yeah. which still triggered despite the fact that we've already returned the horse to its stables. So. <laughs> Oops. Um, there's a potential ambush here. Okay, fine. We seem to have skipped it. Yeah, over here. If you see a log, it's really difficult to, uh, to avoid it. Oh, I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess we just triggered the, the ambush. Oh well. Sucks to be you because nobody in the province has a horse that they can use in combat. I'm the only one who has. Bloody peasant. 
we'll just follow this road south to Levechko, or at least uh, the, the Millers. Oops. So yeah, the, I usually tend to stick to like the uh, the bigger parts, right? So if you look at the map, there's several parts that I prefer. So you've got the path from Ratai to Neuhof, and that goes up to Ujits. Or alternatively, you can go by Levechko. So there's a path over here. Um, then you know that there's a path that goes that curves around and goes to here. Or you alternatively you gotta take the path north to Scarlet and Robna. But yeah, the one I tend to use the most is from Ratai from the mill through he uh, through around here to through Ledechko and then go up to Tamburg. That's basically the, the the path I use the most. But I know that this one I don't tend to use too often. But I usually if I go here I'll go back to Ratai by the long path. This path is pretty good for sprinting. Whereas this one is not so much so. But yeah, yeah. just based on experience. Um, you can get ambushed, but like I said, if I got a horse, it doesn't matter. Oh, what is this? Now you're a wanderer. If they're if they're moving around, if they're actually moving on the road, they're okay. If they're standing on the road, that's probably an ambush. So one of the problems with the game is that it kind of makes it obvious when an ambush exists, right? If you see a log on, on the path, you know it's an ambush. You just know that, right? I think some of these guys have special dialogues. No, I don't. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Actually, let's sit with him. <laughs> you don't know me. I've never met you, but I'm just going to sit next to you. God be with you. But this is the only way to be actually see his face. Otherwise, we're going to talk to his back. Right, let's try this. work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? A ring. Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours. Testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Townburg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Townburg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Townburg armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robart finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen Rocks to make it a proper stink. So I'm role playing that I, um, that I still owe the Millers a debt, so I, that's why I take these quests. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen Rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Take care now. Yeah, so other than this quest, I don't actually steal anything. I usually don't have to. So I also roleplay that I I dip my toe into the thieving experience and I decide that it's not for me. Um, that is not the right road. So I need to go to Levechko and then go to Sasau. Um, actually, no, that's fine. We'll, yeah. go, we'll go and see Peshek. Now, it's possible to get ambushed here, by the way. It's entirely possible to get ambushed here. Oh, that was... I thought that was going to drop me on my ass. Ironically, it's not where all the, bu all, where all the bushes are thickest. It's around this area here. Yep. What? What? Ah, uh, this could be dangerous. Is he dead? Okay, 
Yeah, I have a horse. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, it's a kuman. They're kumans, but I have a horse. So it's true. Bloody kumans don't know how to ride horses, but I do. <laughs> so yes, if you want to avoid all ambushes, get yourself a horse. It's easy. Okay, now what's the time? Ah, uh, it's way too early. Actually, no, no, I can do this quest right now, actually, um, because Peshek's quests are actually better done during the daytime. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but because they're, they're, they involve stealing, but it is a fact that the areas that you need to steal from will be empty. And yes, uh, the mules are actually fully functional, as far as animations and whatnot. You should definitely practice pickpocketing with him for, uh, for as long as you can, because pickpocketing is really difficult to level up. I'll do that offline if I, you if I to get a chance. Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. <laughs> Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some winching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done. Provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. So this quest is actually all of Peshek's quests are actually better best done during the during the morning or during the day at least. Because what happens is that when if you come here at night, there'll be plenty of people around that chest. So you definitely want to make sure that you have uh, you have as few people as possible. And you can actually look inside, right? You can actually look inside. So these windows are not just Oh, look at that. What are you doing there? They're not just there, um, they're actually functional. Now nobody's gonna mention somebody walking around here during the daytime, right? Somebody actually walked in here though. Is this a private area? Okay, so she's there. Um... It is a it is a, it is a thing that if you, if they don't see you they don't know that you've stolen something. So as long as, you're, as long as you're not seen, you're okay. So yeah, just come here and pick this up. Just a ring. Oh shit, she heard something. That's okay. He might suspect something, but he doesn't know. Right? He doesn't know. So yeah, that one's really easy to do. You just need a bit of block picking and that's it. As long as nobody actually walks into the into the into the upper story. I have that ring for you. Excellent. They'll be hopping mad at the baths once they find out. Here's your reward, and don't turn it all into drink. Okay, so let's see. Any chance of some more work? There's one more quest. For you, always. A friend oh, actually, of mine. There's two more quests, brother. Get back some disputed land from his neighbor. And you've become an officer of the law, is that it? A likely turn of events. No, I'm pleased to say this is good old-fashioned stealing. There's a deed of sale for that land, not quite in his favor. So it would be a fine thing if it went missing. Take care. Okay, so it's a total of three quests. Um, after you actually get the credentials. So we've done yeah. one. That was the ring from the bards. This one could be a bit trickier. But the third one involving, involving the book is... That one's pretty straightforward. 
you definitely want to go there during daytime. Um, here. This one I'm not sure. I think the rat house is open during daytime. Here's the rat house. Which basically means a uh, town hall. So yeah, I had no idea what the hell the rat house meant earlier. Okay, that guy's over there. Um, he won't know what hit him. So here is the room. Ah, oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. It's a hard lock. Okay, that's gonna take a bit of practice. Um, yeah, it is, but it's upstairs. It's in that room. And I am not getting in there with... No, there's a couple of parchments here, but uh, that's not the one. The one is upstairs. God be with you. Uh, yeah, let's ask Master him. Baylor, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay. Good luck to you. I think this is private. No, it isn't. Okay. But yeah, this it's definitely upstairs. That's a problem. It's behind the hard lock. And I definitely can't get in there right now. So we need to practice our lock picking. Hopefully nobody will see me. Wait, did somebody say? Somebody say you were seen. Oh no. No, no, no. I meant uh, I saw a, I saw a pop up. I saw a pop up. Ooh yeah, they may have seen me. Somebody may have seen me. But one thing to do here is to read books. You just have to open the book and that's it. I mean, they are worth reading. They do give you a bit of a historical background on the place. Excellent. This one, yeah, this is this is trespassing, sir. So. I don't know why it's trespassing though. I think it may have been designed uh, for for a quest that was cut or something. Because that area is trespassing, but there isn't much going on. Uh, up here is where the scribe is. That's a problem. Yep, that's hard. Yeah, we're not doing that. There is a perk we can get, but it was take us, let's see. Luck of the drunk, that's six, level six. Once you get this, then you can open many, many, many locks, but not right now. Not right now. We are not getting past this guy. Oh, it's open. What the? What? How is that thing? Um. I like to put books back, by the way. We're just reading them. We're not uh, like barbarians stealing books or something. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Treasure map. I didn't know I was there. Sneaky buggers. Sneaky buggers put it there. Okay, so let's see. I uh, hope it didn't get up. Reading, and yes. There is a few interesting lines. So yeah, this line is actually refers to a certain something that will happen later on. But yes, if you're unable to get the information out of Godwin, this is what this is the page that you'll have, you'll have to read. Call Riki. Hidek called Riki. Anyway, spoilers, lol. Oh, straw hat. Um, yes, best hat. Best hat. Must wear. <laughs> Bloody peasant can't go around without a hat. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know you could go around. Okay, this is it. Oh, look at that! I discovered something new. 
Because normally, normally, that door is locked. The one that goes to uh, the black book. That is locked. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. I'm too stealthy for you. With my stealth one. Lol. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know that was possible. So I think that's changed since the first patches. Usually, um, well, back in the day, it used to be the case that uh, that room was locked. Hello, are you missing a deed? Nope. <laughs> By the way, nice hat. All right, so let's go. That was that was a lot easier than I expected. Okay, so where is one patient? Here we are. I have the stolen parchment for you. Haha! <laughs> Good work! And I have a few groschen for you in exchange. Once again, I'm out of paid work. I can help you there. But once you find out what I have in mind, you may want to reconsider. I see. Am I to free the king from imprisonment? Or steal Sir Divish's finest steed? Pray, do tell. You know what? You're not that far off the mark. Sir so Hanush has in his possession a certain beautifully illuminated volume. Not that he knows how to read, mind. He got it as a gift from someone. But it's not much use to him. I can think of a better use for it. Don't tell me that you can read. Ha! <laughs> Never let it be said I'd waste my time on such trifles. But I do have a fire ready. And as you can imagine, a book like that, decorated with pure gold, will cost him dear. Ah yes, pretty ironic that uh, Henry, who's just learned to read, would would say that. Anyway, you can't kind of refuse, but I trust your reward will be generous. Yeah, imagine Where reading, man. This book? What a Have waste I of ever time. Let you down? Fear not, Hal. This time you'll be getting more than usual because of the extra risk stealing from your own liege lord. If they catch you, we've never met. Understood? You'll find the book right there in Hanush's chambers at the castle. It won't be easy to get in, but I'm confident you'll figure it out. Best of luck. Take care. It's surprisingly easy. It is really easy to get that book. Okay, yeah. um, I'm not going to go through town. But we do have to get to the upper castle over there. Yeah. Oh shit, don't fall off the cliff. Uh, luckily, your horse can't die. So yeah, your horse, your dog, and stuff like that can't die. Only you can. So as long as you survive, your horse will come back eventually. Yeah. And here's the upper castle. They will never recognize me with my straw hat. Nope. Not a chance. Actually, um... Let me park here. And let me turn the horse around in case I need to make a rapid escape. <laughs> I shouldn't need it, but um, there's two ways to get up there, right? One is over here. There's a guard. You want him to stay outside. So there is a back entrance. This guy will stay there. And besides, this room here is not private. I mean, you can rob the place blind. That's a toilet, by the way. So yes, back in the day, they actually just, uh, yeah, did that. <laughs> just do it into a hole. And whoever's below, well, that's too bad for you, buddy. Camp. Why did I discover a camp? Why is there a camp here? Anyway. Uh, hopefully, there aren't any guards here. Ah, oh, there's a guard. Kind of game? Yes, it's a squid game. Okay, now... Oh shit! Uh, so yes, somebody did see me pick the lock. Somebody saw me pick the lock. So what's happened is that I've, I've got a reputation as a thief now. Surrender. Uh, I'm surrendering. I'm surrendering. Yes. 
Um, what? <laughs> um, I don't understand. That's a bit buggy. Oh, here. There what? you go. So yeah, somebody did What's see me at the right house. Reason? Somebody saw me. Was either at the right house or at uh, the bards. Don't bother me with this. Uh, do you really want to search me? Get out of my way. No, no, no. Run away! No, no, no. I have uh, nothing. Come on, then. I have nothing. Mm. All right. You can go. See? So, yes. Because we were seen stealing, that's a problem. Okay, I need to... Yep. Do this. He'll come hey, over here. You've no business here. Clear off or you'll be sorry. Ah, okay. So, I need this guy to go away. If we close this door... Now, they do get upset about private. What are you doing here? Get lost. Are you something you're looking for here? Okay. Oh, shit. The swapping. The swapping places. Oh, that is the worst. Surely not. Surely not. Come on. You gotta stop doing that. Hey, you. What are you doing? Fuck off before I lose. Is something the matter? Yes. Oh, they're swapping. Oh. Oh, they sw oh. Okay, this is interesting. This is hey, this might have there? changed a little bit. Um, I don't recall this being a thing. I must have imagined it. Don't recall this being a thing, but um Oh, hello. Is that open? What? What do you think you're doing? I have a mind to call the guards. Does he? Okay, I guess he doesn't know. Maybe. No, no, don't look this way. Ooh. Okay, if he walks in here, then I'll know that he's seen me. I don't think he's seen me. Okay. By the way, um, I think I can't read it. It used to be the case that you could open it, and there was a nice little drawing, but I guess it got rid of it. But yes, yes, that it doesn't really count as a stolen item. What? What? How did that work? I was just leaning on the wall, sir. You didn't see nothing. No, no, it's, uh, it's not a quest item. It's a miscellaneous item. But it doesn't count as stolen for some reason. Yeah, it's bloody quits, man. Bloody quits. Yes, uh, we got the loot. This is weird. I'm not sure that should have worked. But we got the loot. So yes, yes, yes. Because I was outside his corner of vision, he couldn't see me. And because I was sneaking and moving slowly, he didn't hear me. Having said that, they, they will suspect me of uh, stealing. And we are going to be searched pretty regularly, I think. So if you got the right eye, you better make... Well, in my case, I better make sure that I don't have any stolen items. Yeah. And eventually, they'll give up. So yeah, it's not a global thing by the way, so it's, it, it varies per town. Yeah. Anyway, that is the last of Peshek's quest, so we won't have to steal anything. Yeah. So it's fine. Um, there are some quests for Vojek. I think that's how you pronounce it. Because it begins with a W, right? Vojek? That involves going up to Tamburg, and if I... Oh, it's midday. Um... There's two quests at Tamburg, unfortunately. They're both kind of difficult. So I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, work on my lockpicking. Oh well. So at the very least, we got uh, Pejex done. Now, I think I'll leave off uh, Vojex until a little while later. Just because it's so, they're so difficult. Uh, the, one for, the, one, the one with Lady Stephanie is especially difficult. Uh, I'm gonna have to need at least... At least luck of the drunk, which is like uh, level six lock picking. I have that book from Hanish for you. Great work. 
Here's your well-earned reward. I got a down payment, and the buyer will be gnawing his nails by now. I'm glad I won't let him down. Goodbye. Yay, so Peshek likes us. The town thinks that we're thieves, though. Yep, that's it. That is the last bit of stealing we need to do for him. And basically, we've, we've made back what we spent on the horse. Let me read this, this treasure map. Because the discount is reading, by the way. I'm not sure I understand. Ledechko, Ratai, that's a big river. Hmm. Probably a mine shaft somewhere. Wait. Is this Branyik? Oh, this could be Branyik. Anyway, let me put it away for the time being. I usually don't bother with treasure treasure maps. I remember when Grushin sometimes disappeared from chests. Yeah, the only place to put them is in your uh, global chest like this. That's a global chest. That's the only place. The only the only other place that I found where items don't disappear is in your house. There's a chest over there in your house where they don't disappear. Every other chest is liable to actually um, just reset to its default uh, contents. So we'll go to Ledechko, we'll speak to the Millers, and then we'll go see Fritz over here. Good afternoon. You've been working at the mill for a while now, haven't you? <laughs> Pretty long. Why'd you ask? I heard there's a possibility of finding work here for two talented carpenters. That depends on how talented they are. I'd say they're talented enough. We'll soon see. But go talk to the miller about it, alright? Of course. Is the miller very strict? The miller isn't. But his foreman doesn't give the workers anything for free, besides kicks and insults. Well, hopefully that won't happen. They're good men. I'll be happy if that's true. Good luck then. <laughs> She, he lies. Henry lies. That is a lot of work to just simulate rubbish, by the way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it's historically accurate. Is there any work here for carpenters? In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. Farewell. Okay, so that's a, that's a standard Miller line. Good day to you. What do you need? Teresa, the millmaid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman. Tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. Which is absolutely not uh, Matthew and Fritz, but uh, another person in the world has done good work, and I think this one tends to work much better. That way, you're not actually committing to you know to the quality of their work. You know me. Uh, you never heard of me. You got to let them work for you. Uh, this one I think involves money. Yeah. They're good men. From Scalitz. Basically your neighbours. You have to help them. Save the sermon. Oh. It's hard work or nothing. No charity. Oh. I'm from Scalitz and I know them both. Maybe first. this is the, the more likely line. They worked in the royal mines and their master couldn't praise them highly. Enough. Yeah, BS. In the Scalitz Tons of mines. BS. That's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. God be with you. Yeah, maybe a dabar. What about uh, death trash? Maybe they maybe they've really embraced the trash there. <laughs> yes, it's in the name, death trash. But yes, um, in that game you can actually vomit. Vomiting is uh, is an asset, is a, in a feature, apparently. <laughs> so maybe people just like being able to vomit. Who knows? Oh, they're inside. The needle wells are inside. Yes, the bastards. About your brawl with Elias. How the fuck do you know about him? Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Here. Enjoy Absolutely. It. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. We. I'd like something to eat. We won't forget this. Oh, my honor. Yeah, on my honor, my ass. 
The problem is that he has no honor. You see? He has no honor. That's the problem. The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two groschen to rub together. Welcome to the Matthew and Fritz experience. They're gonna BS us to until they <laughs> until kingdom come. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Nah, yeah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. Which that they'll never have. <laughs> Which they'll never Stop have. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Let's try and get supplies from the custodian. We've got 150 gold, so... They'll need to do something for insomnia, but I need to get the meat first. For that, I need archery skills. Yes, why can't I just pick up a whole bunch of charcoal from the, from this pile here? It's probably upstairs, being lazy as usual. Ah, the privileges of nobility. Yep. Yes, these things happen, certainly. And as long as the monastery needs my protection, they'll have to put up with it. Good luck to you. Okay, there you go. So we have supplies now. The insomniac and the meat. And also, I need to speak to this guy. Yes, yeah, this is a bit of a hidden thing. You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. Oh God, thank you. I didn't do that much. You did more than anyone else here. I'm sorry, I've got no money to repay you. But I can tell you a secret. How workers like me keep up backbreaking labor day after day. Yes, vitality. Hooray. Let's see. No, no, no. no. Actually, thick blood. Yes. I need this in order to counteract one of the one of the um, hardcore perks. This one, hemophilia. Yeah, hemophilia is a, is a killer. Seriously. If you play on hardcore and you take hemophilia, you have to take this one. Otherwise, you're gonna you're basically gonna die very quickly during combat. Why are you running? Oh, it's Fritz. How are you, Henry? Oh, it's Fritz. Okay. Um, it is possible for them to physically run to ambushes. Um, NPCs actually physically move through the game. And also, have I killed anyone? Lol. No, kill nobody. Not even a bloody animal. <laughs> Not even a bloody animal. Ah, uh, one single stealth knockout. I don't know who that was. Ah, uh, that was uh, that was a murderer. Then we robbed him. Yeah, look at that. That Welcome master's made it all the way here. Okay, there's no ambush here. Usually there's an ambush here, but okay, I guess there isn't. Also, if we, oh, I've never actually followed them to uh, to the mill. If they go to the mill, will they actually speak to the miller? Oh, that's interesting. I want to see if these people have anything to say. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What? Are they looking? They're looking for the miller. They're looking for the miller. Oh, this is a good sign. They didn't just walk in and establish themselves. They are looking for the miller. Oh, get excited, people. I expect something interesting here, and absolutely unique. God save you, Henry. Yeah, from fools like you. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's getting up as well. Oh, something's happening. God save, Master Miller. We were told you have a job here for two carpenters. You're the two Henry sent. That's us. Then stop gaping and get to it. My foreman Thomas will explain everything. We'll get to it then. My daughter will bring you something to eat at noon. Thank you. But no slacking off. Got it? What? Us? Never. Oh, I mean, it doesn't. It makes not. Doesn't make that much difference, but there's unique dialogue. Okay, I'm impressed. Because the thing is, the chances of uh, the player hearing those lines is basically zero. This guy's physically walk. Who would physically follow these guys all the way there? Wow, okay. That is impressive. 